Yo, it's Just Kid Tay, man. We back here with another video. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe button, post bell notification. Watch a commercial or two, you know what I'm saying? Show me some love. Show everybody who in the comment section some love. Subscribe to them. You know, y'all interact with each other. Dress the kid game. So, man, I'm here today to talk about something. People, they might mention it here and there. You know, they might say they agree with it, but I don't think most people really do. Because, especially like, I call them the the pandemic gun owners, specifically the pandemic Glock owners. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stop changing stuff on your Glocks, flat out. I'm cool with the, you know, the polishing, you know, the 25 cent jobs, uh, you know, whatever you want to reference it. I'm cool with all that. YouTube, by the way, we in a close, a closed environment, safe, controlled environment. No ammo is around. But yeah, man, flat out, stop changing stuff on your Glocks. Seriously, anything internal wise. Now, I know I might do it. You know me. I might do it. You know, the um, this one still everything on this one still factory. This one, dang that, everything is lake line upgraded, except the barrel. Everything else is, you know, a lake line upgrade. So I can always have duplicate parts. Dang that, everything on this one also is. Actually, everything on this one is upgraded. Recoil spring, barrel, except the striker, the actual striker, but the the um striker sleeve, the the um the spring and also the um that little retainer that uh that black retainer that they have on the strikers the cups i changed that one out too to a stainless steel but we're not talking about me you know what i'm saying and even if we was everything on it work let's start there you feel me stop changing everything on your glock i'm gonna just say keep it all stopped that's the motto, stock Glock, Glock perfection, right? So why is everybody changing stuff on it? Now, don't get it wrong. I don't, I'm not against, you know, the Gucci Glock. You know, I want one. I really do. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to build it high. You know, I want to customize. I like customized guns. So I know eventually when I get into them, I'm going to want to more than likely customize mine also. So... Don't think I'm like being a hypocrite or nothing, but think about it. These guys customize everything. They change everything, bro. Slide release, the takedown pins, the trigger, the mag release. These guys change everything on Glocks, recoil springs. I'm cool with them changing the sights because I don't really like those sights either. These guys change everything, bro. They changing striker um springs. Hell, some even go as far as to change the barrel, the back plate, the striker, everything, extractors. Bro, the list goes on and on, bro. The list goes on and on. And it's nothing wrong with that. But this what I gotta say is if you can't. If you don't feel comfortable carrying that gun, you shouldn't buy it or bill it. Flat out. Flat out. If you do not feel comfortable carrying the gun, why are you billing it? Stop changing Glock perfection. You add one little thing to that to that recipe that isn't original, what happens? Malfunctions. Okay, well, if you... uh. The, uh, okay, bomb for instance, the, the ramjet, right? You throw the barrel on, right? You got about a uh, recoil spring. Okay, you got the barrel and the recoil spring with the with the um compensator, right? Now you might got to change the striker spring. You see what I'm saying? Then you might got to change the striker. So that's what I'm saying. It's like a cause and effect. 
when you changing stuff on these Glocks, man. Now, the P80s and the Glock clones, like the Dagger and whatnot, they're different. They're not Glocks. Like, flat out, those are not Glocks. Those are clones, respectfully, because I'm, I'm finna be building one, finishing building one soon. So, respectfully, they are clones. They are not Glocks. I think Glock Perfection came out with the Gen 4s, which is weird because those were some of the most unreliable out the box. Do your homework. Like I always say, don't listen to me. YouTube going to tell you everything. Go on YouTube right now. Type in Glock 17, Glock 19, Gen 4 malfunctions. It's, it's, it's a whole underworld of that stuff. So... For people really out there changing all this stuff on the Glocks, bro. Just stop it, bro. Leave them alone. Leave it alone. If you don't feel comfortable carrying it, why are you building it? Because I don't believe in range guns. People out there like, oh, it's just for the range or, you know, just trying to make an excuse saying, well, that's the luxury of having multiple guns. No, bro. No. I don't care what nobody says, bro. When it comes to handguns, you can do that with like 22 long rifles or competition shooting rifles, you know, even certain competition shooting guns. But the point in building a competition shooting Glock, it don't really make no sense to me unless you're actually a paid competition shooter or, you know, you're trying to become one. But to me, that's an excuse of you saying, well, bro, it really ain't that reliable. So I really just use it for training at the range. And that's an excuse. It's like you you messing with perfection, bro. You messing with something that already works. Stick to Glock perfection, man. Stop changing the trigger. I don't care if Glock made the performance trigger. Guess what? To this day, they have not made a model gun or even just said from the factory, this Glock is going to come with this trigger. It ain't happened yet. It's been out almost going on a year and a half now. So in my opinion, and they Glock even says it, they even say it. This is a competition style trigger. It's not a duty trigger. What comes in the Glocks. Even the Glock like 34 and the, you know, the actual competition ones, those are competition triggers. But guess what? They come from the factory and Glock. If anything, shit, try to see if you can put one of those competition factory triggers in a model that's compatible. But bro, just stop it, bro, because it's making no sense. YouTube, I got some uh, snap caps. I got some snaps. We finna look at trigger pulls now. Boy. So I want you guys to get your Glock performance trigger, Timney triggers, whatever. And let's measure the pull. Now this is the GX4 uh, XL. They're pretty much the same, like same trigger pulls. Now this is the GX4. That's the wall, right? It ain't really no mush. Look at the reset. That's what they trying to repl uh, replicate. Like I just said in my past video, what's a budget gun, fam? If the original MSRP of Glocks was three seventy five, dollars and because of the marketing team was very smart and saying, hey, man, it's the most reliable plastic gun. It's more reliable than the metal guns. That's way more expensive. $200, $300 more expensive. Let's go up on the MSRP. Come on, man. Ask the real OGs who've been off the off the um, porch, man, since the since the 80s, the 90s. They're going to tell you Glocks was $300 guns, man. You know, retail, $300. Street price, come on, man. And uh, $275. I got another one we're going to try with the... Um, with the micro GX4, same thing, man. This, this to all the guys who 
building these guns and they trying to replicate these things. Just get a Taurus, bro. Same thing. Slight take up. Check the reset now. Come on, man. No mush, wall, trigger pull, that pin drop. Same thing for the G3C. Now, this is the one that everybody love to hate right here. This this the this the one that everybody love to hate. This the Oh my god. Now let's start there. I want you to take your OEM Glock. Right? OEM Glock trigger. Nothing changed on it. No striker spring, nothing. No disconnector. See, let's start there. A lot of y'all gonna change this, change that, change it, change that. Then it ain't Glock, bro. Let's start there. Okay, this wall, right? That's the wall every time, right? Now think about a Glock. It takes its resistance to pull it back. And then when you get to the wall, it's actually mush, right? Now let me put this. Because you know I gotta I always like to use my snap cap. That was without a snap cap. Forgive me, gun guys. Now every time now, it's the same, it's the same damn travel in the Glock without the mush. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. The same travel. Look at the travel, fam. Now think about your Glock and where you hit the wall and where all the mush is took out. It's here. So why not have a trigger that just goes right back to the wall? Let's start there. Check the reset, man. Reset so damn sure. I come. On, let's start there, man. Let's start there. Let's start there, y'all boys, man. Again, we clear those snap caps. Stop changing Glock perfection, y'all boys. I'm telling y'all, man. It's no point, especially if you if you can't carry it, bro. I'm just gonna keep it real. Don't build it. I buy guns to carry. I don't buy range guns. These ain't no range toys. You know, I don't use excuses and say, oh, it's a range toy. Like when I um when I pointed out flaws with these. Did y'all did y'all ever hear me say, oh well, I ain't gonna carry it? Hell no. Nah. I realized, okay, do this, do that. And it's gonna work every time. Dirty or clean. Y'all changing these triggers out. Now y'all got to keep it clean. Me, I just say I like my shit clean. You feel me? I, that's just me. I just like my shit clean. It ain't that it ain't going to work if it ain't clean. Glock performance trigger. Let's start there. People saying off top. It ain't working when it's not clean. You got to lube it. You got to do this. You got to do that. That ain't going on with these right here, bro. I don't care what no. It ain't going on with these, bro. So let's start there. Make sure y'all go check out that what's a budget gun video, man. Cause I just I just exposed the whole industry. What's a budget gun? A gun you can get under MSRP? Huh? Why wouldn't bro everything in life we trying to get it under what? MSRP cars, houses, clothes, everything. We trying to get the girl on the MSRP. She charging this, but we trying to pay. Come on, man. Let's start there, man. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe button. Get in them comments. Let me know how y'all feel about what I just said. Let me know, bro. Watch them commercials, man. Show me some love. Y'all show each other love. Subscribe back to each other. Watch each other commercials. Get in each other's shorts comments. Hit the like button on the shorts. Hit the like button on the video. Check out the community tab for each other. You know, share each other video, whatever, bro. Show some love. Just a kill. We out.